make a decision when it comes to, to swings. Luis Garcia is the Nationals leadoff man. He was 0 for 12 against the Braves back in Atlanta, but still hitting 302. The thing that I love about Kyle Wright is he always makes adjustments from game to game. A little ground ball to second. Cano waits for Olsen to get back to the bag, and Robinson with a perfect play. Up and away. I'll ask you both this question. Kyle Wright's doing seeing him and not having much luck last time out. What do they look for? As far as Kyle goes, as I said, it was such a that you're going to throw a ball. So I feel like he has a whole new swing at that first pitch. I'm not going to cheat myself. Because one thing I learned about Kyle Wright is he has that nasty curveball late in the count that I might struggle with. So I'm looking for the fastball early in the count. He's in it. And like Peter said, the maturity is, is awesome. That was close. Great try, but well, I'm sure is being scouted as the trade deadline approaches. The pitch fouled away. It's still three and two. Yeah, you look at these next three guys in the lineup. John. Oh, you want it with the bases empty. The pitch and cracked out a play left side and Bell putting up a fight here. Wright's fastball is crackling tonight, 96 miles an hour. Cruz, this guy's still getting it done. Fly ball is walloped to deep right and Acuna didn't even move a muscle into the second deck. Home run number 13 for Bell. Lead is cut in half. And it goes to tell you guys, these three hitters in this lineup, you cannot go three and two with because they look it's a red light for them, a, a green light. Swing hard. With five homers in that stretch. That was a great at bat by Bell. He saw eight pitches, and the last one ended up in the second deck. That was no cheapy. But you still lead. He's hit three homers this year against Braves pitching. And he's behind 0 and 2. Another batter in the box, I would say you got the advantage, but not with this guy. He is just such a good two strike hitter. Strikes. With the bases empty, Nationals are on the board as this one is dribbled foul and out of play. And the fact that those guys were so pesky. Popped him up. Soto's going to be retired when Riley catches that and two men are down. But when I look back, I don't see. So that was a problem for me. This is Nelson Cruz and he pops the first one out of play. The Braves starting in four games in a row. So need a big start from Kyle Wright tonight. A long start, if you will. And he'll be off to a good start, allowing the home run to Bell. But he preserves the lead as Cruz rolls out to end the Nationals first. We're underway in Washington. Glad you're with us on Valley Sports. It's a 2-1 game. Making a difference in that clubhouse, guys. Bertie, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks, can't, Chip. Can't have too many veterans for a playoff hopeful team. The playoffs, the pressure of that isn't going to phase Robinson. As Yadiel Hernandez leads off the second for the Nats and Kyle Wright. There's not a question that Robinson Cano can't answer when it comes to hitting. Or when it comes to success in the big leagues. He's get them confidence in themselves. And it worked out great. Another thing I'd like to that means something without even getting a hitting tip or anything mechanical. Two strike hit for Yadiel Hernandez to start the Nationals second inning. So he'll be at first to start the inning. And Caber Ruiz is coming up. When you're talking about the foot and getting a pin put in. On the ground, Ruiz beats the shift. Back to back hits. And Harris comes up ready to throw, and Hernandez stops at second. That was unfortunate. The Braves lead is one. It's two to one. We're in the second. And just outside, ball one. Things that, the thing about this Nats team. They're pesky. You know, we may. One ball, no strikes. And that's lined into left field. It's down for a base hit. Rosario comes up cleanly, and the Nationals have three straight singles to start the second inning, and they've got the bases loaded. He's just missing a little bit too much up in the zone. Blew that one right on by. Nothing wrong with a 97 mile an hour sinker. Might trade a run for a double play chance here. Let's see how it works out. 
Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Two. two perfect pitches there. Right back exactly where you need. This season for the Braves. And a little tapper, slow roar. There's going to be one play. It's going to score a run. Tough break for Wright. Got another ground ball. Atlanta. He's a fast runner. And a swing and a miss. Hit that three-run homer off Will Smith, if I remember. First pitch curveball. Center cut, 0-2. Let's see if he can finish him off. 95 sink on the outside. It's a good pitch. Tough man to solve. Here comes the 0-2. Grounded foul. And he's way ahead of Lane Thomas. The pitch. Little pop. That'll be easy. That'll be the second out. And there's that breaking ball, BJ. Good call. Thomas pops out. Everybody backs up to normal day. Perfect pitch. There's a curveball. It's nothing in one. Good. He's starting to feel that pitch, yes. isn't he? So two strikes, two on, two two game. And this one on the ground, but right into the shift. Dansby was there. Throw to first is in time, and Kyle Wright, a terrific. We always have a lot of a list fans here in Washington. It's always been great Braves country. 2 2 with Josh Bell leading off. And this one is bounced toward first. That should be easy for Matt Olson. And right, right at the bag, gets Bell for out number one. I was just going to say, I'd like to see Kyle get through this one with the, about 12 to 15 pitches. We've got a good omen off to the right. Under these beautiful skies in D.C. this evening, there's been some rain in the area. We've got a double rainbow working. As Juan Soto takes outside. Amazingly enough, that rainbow's end is right where Brian Jordan's wallet is at the <laughs> team hotel. Comfortable <laughs> <laughs> temperatures, hopefully good weather all weekend long. The pitch is caught on and missed by Soto. Challenged him with 95, and Juan didn't get it. Two and one. 95 with a lot of... If I got on base like he does... <laughs> That's why I love that guy. He's going to be retired by Cano on a big hop. And quickly, two men are out. Soto still more walk bat on the ball. Now he's getting back down in the zone, getting guys to roll over. Did Washington's first inning? Cruz a 2.39 on the campaign. On the line here in the Washington third with two outs. He did. And a perfect pitch. <laughs> There's the rollover. Riley got the hop he wanted. And Cruz is retired. Three ground ball outs. Three up. He says loaded. Nobody out. Kyle gave up just one run. As he gets ahead of the Nationals left fielder. Strike one. Better location on all pitches last, last inning. And, and that first pitch was beautifully located. The Kyle Wright being in the All-Star game. We got another pitch in A.J. Mitch, I That's think, right. should be an all-star game, too. You know, he has, he's having a phenomenal season, and I think... Not necessarily just a performance game, but Kyle Wright certainly deserving as he's made a little history for the Braves in the first half. Wasted high, one ball, two strikes. The every time you got to have at least one representative. It's just... On the ground, Dansby to his right. Backhand stab and a perfect throw. I'm with you, Peter, when baseball had the, you know, in the All-Star game. I mean, even if Marlins are not good or, or Washington is not good, Washington and, and, and see their player sure. represent them. That makes sense. So remember, Major League Baseball is about pleasing the fans, and so. Sure. That breaks you guys, <laughs> as I said earlier. Two balls, no strikes, 2-2 two -two game. And that just missed right now 3 and 0 with Kbert Ruiz switch hitting catcher. This guy's a nice looking player who will turn 20 as part of their rebuilding plans up the middle. And right paints a corner. He was the other half of the. His breaking ball is much better these last two three innings. A lot to like as right turns her loose. 
and didn't get the call. So a one out. So runner at first with one away. Hernandez shoots one toward left. Rosario got a good jump near the line. He slides and makes a great catch in foul ground. And that the ball was on the ground but not hit hard enough to get a double play. And that's got a tying run out of that soft roller. And that's where we stand. 2-2 two -two game, fourth inning. Nationals. Kyle Wright about to make his 60th pitch. And it's hit high in the air to center, but Michael Harris is there, and Kyle Wright is through four innings. Darn up. Put him back on. And now it's time for a shutdown inning for Kyle Wright, who starts with Lane Thomas, the ninth place hitter, then Garcia and Bell. Kyle's been given his second two. Peter, is the, he got in trouble when he left it up, up and out, that second inning. That's enough. As he leads four to two. And this one chopped up the middle. Cano to his right. Perfect throw across his body. You are the ground ball out for Kyle Wright. He's got nine of those in the game. Garcia down a strike. He is. This one is just over the head of Dansby Swanson. Garcia, nice piece of hitting, goes the other way. And that is the Nationals. First hit of the fifth inning. It comes with one out. This is the subtle lineup change that Washington made while they were in Atlanta. You recall Bell was hitting behind one in Truist Park. Now they put him in front. Of one ball, no strikes. Right down Peachtree. Evens the count. Double play depth up the middle for Atlanta. The pitch just inside. And it's two balls and a strike. Down in the zone. Got him to roll over his last at bat. Roll that one foul past first. To highlight the Nats attack. That came in the first, the pitch. He is lined in a right field, a base hit. So we've got trouble afoot here. Two on, one out. And you get to face Soto, who's 0 for 2. You know what he's thinking. As that's low, ball one. What a show he's going to put on in the home run derby with Ronald Acuna Jr. Albert Pools. It's a good bonus too. Brian Jordan money. Oh, way more than Brian Jordan money. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Let's see how many. Oh, tried to frame that just off the plate. It's two and one. Two balls and a strike. Two on, one out. And a line drive into center field, a base hit. Runner around third is going to try to score. The throw is close in. They got it. What a throw. Andrew watching Harris make a diving catch back in Atlanta. So a huge momentum swing in this game. Instead of a one run game, Soto gets a hit to extend his streak, doesn't get an RBI. There are two. So Nelson Cruz, the hitter, swing and a miss. Do we have the metrics on how far the throw went? Well, it worked out beautifully for the Braves as Cruz down to his last strike. He looked bad on both of those curveballs away. Good stop. It's two and two. Kyle here in Washington. The pitch. Curveball. Strikes. On the ground to Riley. He's going to go the long way to first. What an inning for Atlanta. Another. Be here without the World Baseball Classic. Representing Australia. Fans don't know Peter Story. Wise to sign you, and here you are. After a terrific career in the Braves bullpen and other places. That's amazing, man. You got a great story, Peter. Can I write your book? It's already been written with three hits. But leads by a 5 2 score. Trying to chase down win number 11 in his last start before the All Star break. And that's going to be a lot of fun at Truist Park. The pitch is found at the plate. It's 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. Strike three called. Hernandez was frozen. 
<laughs> when someone has great stuff but wants to be in the strike zone. Into the shift. Sliding stop. Perfect throw. That takes care of Kbert Ruiz. Too quick out. Just settles in where two years ago, give up two early runs. You're in panic mode. And, and in the two innings, Brian, that he gave up the three consecutive hits in tonight's game. And you see how he's attacking now. He can play a three homer barrage tonight. And then clicking for. Strike three right down the middle. Hernandez frozen. Two strikeouts in a one, two, three. Michael Franco is 0 for 2. Lane Thomas is 0 for 2. Strikely what you want to see from Carl. Driven toward right center field. Acuna going back to the edge of the track has room for out number one. Birdie, that catch had to dazzle the Braves on the bench too. To one hopper right to him, so he was able to get him out. Just like you used to do it. Well, I wish I could do it like that. <laughs> Guys. Fizz is playing so good because Kyle Wright is throwing a fast game. He's getting the ball, getting back on the mound, which allows you as a defense to stay on a solo and get a great jump on it. And an unbelievable throw. Hey, Bertie, if you could still hear me, can you? <laughs> One ball, two strikes for Lane Thomas. And a swing and a miss. Look at that ball disappear. So Kyle Wright tonight trying to do something that they say is very difficult to do. Beat and a point. Swing at some pitches out of the zone because he's throwing pitches out of the zone. But we continue to talk about his growth. I mean, that's the most important thing. He continues to mature, make adjustments on a fly. And, you know, what you think... He may kind of over adjust, but he didn't. He stayed within his game and he continues to throw strike. Max Freed and the Braves are 13 and 5 when he goes to the mound. So when you talk about a club that is developing co aces, well, if it's Max Freed one, Kyle Wright has got two strikes on Garcia. The man erased at the plate tonight and that just missed. Ball two. And again, not to get ahead of myself, but. Finish him off here. No drama. With Bell on deck, the pitch. He did exactly that. Kyle Wright is through seven innings with four strikeouts, 11 grounds.